Hello everybody, this is Alicia Miller for MC Studios and I am back giving you a quick little um, overview of some new brushes I got. Um, I watch uh, Sandy Alnock here on YouTube and she was using these beautiful black brushes um, for her watercolor art and I just, I like them. I had some cheapy little um, acrylic brushes that I was using for my watercolors and like I said they're cheapy deepy. These are the Silver Black Velvet 3000 S Round. The S means it's short handled. It's not the long handled one. These are from Sri Lanka and um, I got them in two, four, six, and eight in the round. They also come in wash brushes and they come in a whole bunch of different sizes and widths. Um, as you can see, it's a very nice, um, you can totally feel if you've ever worked with cheap brushes you get from like Walmart, you, you, you can tell the feel of them that they're cheap. But these ones, I don't want to say that they're heavy, but you can feel them in your hands. It might sound weird, but <laughs> you can definitely feel them. And it definitely works for me. Um, so uh, I decided to get um, a set or two. I have, I think, two of each size. Two, um, four... Four and six, and then I have one eight size. This is size eight, uh, pretty big. I also recently got because I was pampering myself some Voyage brushes again from uh, Silver Black Velvet. This one's in size four and size six. Now these are pretty cool. They have um, metal barrels at least on this part, but you can pop it out like this. Here, let's move these out of the way. You can pop it out and there's your brush. You just turn it around, stick that into the barrel and there's your brush. And you're ready to travel around and paint with it. And then when you're done and you're ready and is dry because I don't know if I want to stick my brush in in this metal tube while it's still wet I mean there's a hole at the end to for it to breathe but you don't want mold growing on your brushes that's just gross but um you can lay it flat and and let it dry and stuff like that this is the four size and I mean I like this is sturdy I mean it's not cheaply made I mean it is a sturdy brush you can feel it when you hold it in your hand how sturdy it is and you just close it back up like that and you're ready to travel on to your next uh, painting venue this is the size 6 in the voyage again this is the silver black velvet 3100 ST voyage round and again you just pull it down like this pop it open see flip it around and insert the gold collar into the metal uh, base, the metal holder, and then you're ready to brush. You're ready to work your magic with the paint. Um, now this is made out of a synthetic and squirrel blend. So it looks, the brushes are black. There we go. Let's move it a little bit so I can focus. It's not going to focus. Okay, fine. Be that way. But as you can see, they're black bristles. Again, it's squirrel and synthetic mix, and they are from Sri Lanka. So I'm going to close these back up. Um, a lot of videos on YouTube will tell you to splurge on paper and then slowly build up your watercolors, and then your brushes can come later. Um, I kind of did the <laughs> I kind of did the catawampus. Uh, kind, I got really good watercolors, and then I got some really good paper, and then I got some pretty good brushes. So, 
<laughs> I kind of went kind of back asswards on that one. Um, today we're going to see how thirsty these brushes are. Sorry for it, that was really loud. We're going to start with the number two. I'm just dipping it into my clean water, tapping it on the side. And we're going to pick up blue because blue is pretty. And that's pretty dry. What am I doing? But, I mean, this is a small one. And you can see it holds a lot of water. I mean, I haven't even tapped it on the um, paper towel yet. And that's just the two. So we're going to go for the four. Which is this one. And we're going to fill that up with water. Get it blue. And again. The bigger the brush, the more water it's going to hold. I mean, these brushes are very, very thirsty. I really like... Um, I really like them so far. I haven't used them for any any big pieces yet. That's just me rubbing it on the bottom. And the way I dry off my brush or clean my brush is I put it in the water and then I roll it like this on the side. Only because it's around. I don't go like this. I never liked doing that. So I just roll it like this to get the paint out of the collar. And then of course you dry it lying it flat. Or if you can... You can dry it vertical where the brushes are hanging down. I have some poster putty on one of my shelves and I just basically stick my brush to it so that it can dry in a vertical uh, way so that um, it, if there is any paint or pigment on there, it can flow down to the tips instead of into the collar because that's how you can get brushes to fray out and look really, really raggedy. So you definitely don't want that. Here's a size six. Again, it's a, of course, it's the bigger brush. It's a little bit wider, uh, larger, holds a lot more water. We'll go to a different blue. And I mean, the paint I'm using is the Mission Gold. It's in another video that I did here on YouTube. Um, and as you can see, the paint itself moves a lot and the brush holds a lot of water I did re-dip into it and get more water onto the brush but as you can see as the brushes get bigger the more pigment you can lay down they do have this what they call an oval wash brush it's three quarters and I love that thing I so want to get that next you know when I can't afford it <laughs> so now we're moving on to the biggest one that I have which is the eight, the size eight, right here. I don't know if you can see that. It just doesn't want to focus today. But here's the brush and the bristles. It does come to a very nice point. I'll show you that point right now. We'll do um, a nice green for the eight. And this, I mean, you get so much. fill up that brush really good and just this be a good wash brush too if you had a smaller piece like this piece right here if you're just working on this size of um, paper and then we're going to show you the point and it gets a pretty nice point on it pretty fine point to it Let's uh, zoom in on that for you guys. But as you can see, the point, I mean, even though this is a large eight brush, you can get a really fine point on this. And it can carry so much pigment and let you work with it. And then you can go back to fine lining it in just one brush. You can, you can actually just buy one size eight brush and you can use it for so many applications. You can, you know, uh, foliage, leaves, you know, and you'll get that coverage. I haven't dipped back in the water, so this is all still just the thirsty brush. And I'm, 
I'm still going on one one dip. And as you can see, you can see how fine that point can get. And uh, <laughs> it still has water and it's and it's still going. We should actually go with another color so you can see what I just did. Uh, the green isn't really showing up for you guys. So let's go back into the blue and we'll go back over this. And as you can see, it's it's the point on the eight alone pretty much matches up with the point on the two. I mean, the two is extremely fine, but the eight point, this is the eight right here. And let's do the two in this one. So I'm trying to be as light as I can with this. So the two is a little bit finer than the eight. Right there. The lighter blue is the eight and the darker blue is the two. So you can, like I said, you can just buy just the one brush in number eight and you'd still be able to get a nice fine point. So Let's go with the voyage. Um, put it back in. So this is the number four in the voyage uh, line. And uh, we'll go over on this side. And again, the point is really nice on this. And then the flat still holds a lot of water. Um... Synthetic and real hair blends tend to hold a lot of water. Like, just like the standard real hair blends, they like to hold a lot of water too. But like I said, this is, uh, from what I read on Jerry's and Amazon, is, um, it is a squirrel synthetic mix, uh, in this brush. I'm gonna leave it open so it'll dry. I don't wanna dry it in the in the column that it comes in and then this one is the six get that nice and wet dip it into a nice color this is going to be really vibrant let's put it against the green magenta and green again this is this is the six and this has got a nice fine point on it now, the Voyage does come in 2 and 8. However, I just wanted to get the two middle-of-the-road um, brushes, uh, the 4 and the 6, because I figured that's all I will need in my travel set is just a 4 and a 6, and that's pretty much it. And then I can get a wash brush later on just for my travel set. And I can probably use one of the cheap uh, acrylic or cheap watercolor brushes for that so uh, yeah I just wanted to show you guys my uh, black velvet um, water brushes uh, uh, watercolor brushes again this is silver um, black velvet I think silver is the company and black velvet is the line because I know they have other silver brushes that are um, uh, Kalinsky type sable mixes um, again, this is the Voyage set here, and then this is the regular artist set here. Um, they do come in sets. Um, uh, Amazon and Jerry's were sold out of the full set of the Voyage, but they do have these sets here, the sets of the rounds, and a wash brush, kind of like a three brush set, and um, they're very good. I... If you're going to spend money on brushes, I would seriously look at these uh, silver black velvet brushes and see if they might work for you. They're very thirsty. They're very nice. And like I said, you, I mean, you can hold on to a brush that you got from like Walmart and it's got a different feel to it. Uh, I mean, it's, and then you can get the, the plastic ones from like the Hobby Lobby, the simple, the Simply Simmons. They're really good brushes, but they're plastic, um, 
They're plastic handles. These are wood handles, but what I'm trying to say is you can feel the difference. If you've been holding on to one of those cheap little brushes from Walmart and you're painting with them and the the uh, wood is all cracked and the paint's all flaking off because you left it in the water too long, uh, that wood is kind of different. But when you hold on to these, even the two, I mean, it's not very big. It's a very small brush, but you can feel its weight. I mean, it's not heavy by any means. It's just you can feel its sturdiness in just by holding on to it. I mean, it is a fantastic brush. I love these brushes so much. Um, so if you're looking for brushes and you want to spend the money on brushes, I personally would recommend these uh, silver black velvet uh, brushes and the entire line. Also, if you're traveling a lot, I would also suggest the Voyage um, set here as well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's my take on these brushes. I really, really love them. Um, if you have any questions, stick them down in the comment section. Uh, like, dislike, subscribe, and I will, I do hope to vlog you later, and I hope you like this video, and I will see you in the next one.